All right, time for a little more addition to the 300L. Today we got some Acherbys frame guards. Show you right here. They are the red and black. This is what you will get. You'll get the right side, left side, and they install using these rubber bands. You got four of the smaller size and four of the larger size. There are the instructions. And I will show you the part number here for those. You can pause that and get it if you need it. And the one thing you do have to do is you need to remove your little stock guard here for your brake light mechanism there. That's just a Allen head bolt. Take that loose and then this will just pull right off and put that away for it can go night nights and if you ever sell the bike give it to the lucky new buyer. So I'm going to go ahead and put these up here and see what we can do. Stay tuned here and we'll get going. Okay, I tried to position this so you can see what I got going on here. I didn't even read my instructions yet, so bear with me. First I'm going to put this little factory bolt back in. Get her lined up. You can get her right down in that hole there real good. Get her in deep. Yeah. That's it. Just like that. That's the way she liked it. Now, I'm going to see if they tell you which ones to use large. Just says using rings C and D. So, I guess you just got to kind of figure out which ones are large, which is pretty obvious because you got a wide spot here, wide spot here. This is a little bit smaller, so you would use a small one. I'm going to see what I can do here. Push this through the hole, get it out the back, and just like that, that's on. Pretty cool. What's nice about this is uh, for taking them off and cleaning them, you don't got to constantly uh, put new zip ties on. That's not saying these things could very well dry rot and fall off, or you know, you could catch them on something and it pops them off. But uh, either way, it's a pretty cool deal. And they do. They give you four of the four each of these, and I believe each side only takes three. So you have uh, one extra for each. Gonna start this one down on the bottom side. This is a large one also. Ah, come off, you little son of a. You could use a hook pull. Would make your life easier, but a lot of times. Uh, I'm kind of an idiot and I don't prefer to do things easier. I'd rather struggle than walk over to the toolbox, you know, and get the correct tool for the job. I mean, sometimes it's more fun if you just struggle and you're, you're cursing inside your head on the video. If I didn't have the camera running, I'd be throwing F-bombs everywhere when I was cursing. Okay. That one's on. Let's take a close-up look at it. Right there. Rubber band, put it over this nipple, feed it behind your frame, and just boop, put it up over that nipple. Same right here. Around your master cylinder down here. Hook it on, pull it around. Good to go. And up here also on your down tube, hook it on, pull it around. This I use a small one, large, large. 
So we'll go put the other side on and see if I, I did that correctly or not here. get this down so I can see what I'm doing got this little area right there raised up that pops right in your hole for your frame okay this is gonna be just like the other side it looks pretty much like a large o-ring large o-ring and then a small one here This one, the wires are pretty tight. Pretty tight against the frame on this one up top, so. There we go. Got that one around. Okay, this one here is a little tricky. A little tricky. Got to kind of pull it down around behind the brace there. It's on. Now I ended up with two, two of the smaller ones, so I'm guessing you could actually put a smaller one up here possibly. Instead of having two extra small ones here. This one's in a little bit of a weird spot here also down below. It's a little tight going around back. Your chain back there. If you've got big fat fingers, you might want to use a hook tool. It's going to help you. There, so I got two, two of the small ones left over which I like I said, I, you probably could put a small one up here. It might suck that in a little bit tighter, but uh, I'll keep these extra so that I have them. All right, let's give you a look at this. I probably should have the bike up on an actual stand so you can see it better. Okay, there's a look at that one. Left side. Now we'll come over here, give you a look at that one, you can see how it covers everything down here, nice little guard, and of course this is kind of like your stock one here, this is the stock piece, it goes right there, boom. Now these, uh, this is a little bit more of a hard plastic. This is not soft, but it's definitely a little bit softer than the black part right there. Let's give you the full, full look here. And I believe they make those in black and white also, which would look good too. I'm not saying this looks awesome, but I did prefer the red a little bit over, I think, the way the black would look. All right. And these were, I'm going to have to put the price down below. I don't remember offhand uh, what these were. And I do not have the receipt with me from when I got them from Rocky Mountain, ATVMC.com. So I'll post that down below. Like, subscribe, get on the 300L, get outside and rip it. See everybody later. Bye-bye.